Hello there guys and welcome back to another update video with myself Furum. Now today we're going to be taking a look at what is coming in the update on the 8th of December 2016. So the biggest thing I have for you guys this week is Rust is now 3 years old. And along with that it's birthday present to us is Legacy has been removed. There's been a lot of work since we were playing in the Legacy days and it is now moved to a point where they are happy and they just want to remove Legacy, so they have done that. Then moving on to stuff that is actually changing within the game. I can actually show you it because most of the stuff that I'm looking at, I've tried it all and none of it seems to be working. Now this will be because the developers haven't committed it yet into the game. So I'll just quickly run through it all just so you know what's coming. Sadly there's not going to be a lot I can show you, but at least you can know what's coming your way. The M249 is now going to be repairable. You should be able to now skin weapons, at least according to Twitter. Uh, they've added a few. The water pipe shotgun, the pickaxe, hatchet, semi-auto rifle, and the custom SMG should all now be skinnable. But I can't seem to find a way to actually do that. So hopefully that's not been committed yet and it will be available once the update goes live repairing will now cost components and rifles and smgs will be cheaper to repair hemp also now needs to be placed at least half a foot apart from each other one you have planted the salvage sword cost has been decreased now costs one metal blade and 15 metal fragments and the cost of the mace has also been decreased and it has been buffed. It is now 100 wood and 50 metal fragments. We've also had a couple of changes to thrown weapons. So if we now give that a chuck, it now stays at the angle in which it hit the wall. We've also had some changes to the tier 2 crates. Now those will be the large wooden crates that you generally see out with the junk piles. These have now been changed so that they have a bit more variety in them and you're not just getting gears and springs from them. And then we've also had a fix for explosive damage coming through the wall. So hopefully now you won't have no more issues when you're being raided stood at the other side of a wall that someone is trying to blow through. And then the last thing we have is cloth sash assets have been added. Now this is from a few updates back when one of the developers uh, put out some images on one of the dev blogs and basically showing a cloth sash which would be used to show what weapons you had on your back. Now some assets for this have been added so hopefully in the dev blog tonight we will hear some more news on that and possibly it may be paving the way to actually being able to see what weapons nakeds are wearing. So that is everything from me today then guys, hope you have enjoyed, I do apologise about the lack of things to be actually shown. If you would like to see more content, make sure that you are subscribed. Thank you very much guys, have a good day.